Hello and welcome back to LearnStock videos. This video talks about minerals. But before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on our captivating science content. Let's dive right in. Minerals are one of the major classes of nutrients needed by the body. They are micronutrients, meaning they are needed in small amounts by the body. The other micronutrients are vitamins. Minerals are usually found as single elements in the body. There are 16 minerals needed by the body, and they are calcium, sodium, potassium, chloride, phosphorus, magnesium, iron, sulfur, zinc, copper, manganese, iodine, selenium, molybdenum, chromium, and fluoride. These minerals are classified as major minerals and trace minerals based on the amount found in the body. Major minerals, also called macro minerals, are needed in relatively large amounts than trace minerals. The daily need for these minerals is greater than 100 milligrams per day, and the body contains at least 5 grams of these minerals. Major minerals are calcium, sodium, potassium, chloride, phosphorus, magnesium, and sulfur. Trace minerals, also called micro minerals, are needed in relatively smaller amounts than the major minerals. The daily need for these minerals is greater than 20 milligrams per day, and the body contains less than 5 grams of these minerals. Trace minerals are iron, zinc, copper, selenium, chromium, iodine, manganese, molybdenum, and fluoride. Each mineral plays a vital role in the body's well-being and health. Calcium is essential for the formation and maintenance of strong bones. It also plays a key role in the proper functioning of the nervous system and contributes to muscle contraction. The dietary sources of calcium are dairy products, leafy green vegetables, nuts, and fortified foods. Sodium is essential for the maintenance of fluid balance in our body. It also supports nerve function and aids in muscle contractions. Excessive sodium consumption can lead to hypertension. It is therefore important to limit salt consumption and favor foods rich in potassium to maintain a good balance. The dietary sources of sodium are table salt, processed foods, and natural sources like celery and beets. Potassium is essential for maintaining fluid and electrolyte balance in our body. It is also important for muscle contraction and blood pressure regulation. The dietary sources of potassium are bananas, oranges, potatoes, tomatoes, and dairy products. Chloride is essential for fluid balance in our body. It also plays a crucial role in the digestive process as part of hydrochloric acid in the stomach. The dietary sources of chloride are table salt and many processed foods. Phosphorus is important for the formation and maintenance of strong teeth and bones. It also plays a role in energy metabolism and DNA synthesis. The dietary sources of phosphorus are dairy products, meat, fish, nuts, and whole grains. Magnesium is involved in more than 300 enzymatic reactions in our body. It supports muscle and nerve function, bone health, and energy production. The dietary sources of magnesium are nuts, seeds, leafy green vegetables, and whole grains. Iron is essential for the formation of hemoglobin, a substance responsible for transporting oxygen in red blood cells. The dietary sources of iron are red meat, poultry, fish, beans, and fortified cereals. Sulfur is found in amino acids. It contributes to protein structure and cellular function. The dietary sources of sulfur are protein-rich foods like meat, fish, eggs, and certain vegetables like garlic and onions. Zinc is involved in immune function, wound healing, and DNA synthesis. The dietary sources of zinc are meat, dairy, nuts, and legumes. Copper is necessary for the formation of red blood cells, collagen production, and iron absorption. The dietary sources of copper are shellfish, nuts, seeds, whole grains, and legumes. Manganese supports bone formation, blood clotting, and acts as an antioxidant. 
The dietary sources of manganese are whole grains, nuts, leafy green vegetables, and tea. Iodine is crucial for thyroid function. It is used in the production of thyroid hormones. The dietary sources of iodine are seafood, iodized salt, and dairy products. Selenium acts as an antioxidant, supporting immune function and protecting against oxidative damage. The dietary sources of selenium are Brazil nuts, fish, meat, and grains. Molybdenum plays a role in enzyme function, particularly in the metabolism of certain amino acids. The dietary sources of molybdenum are legumes, grains, and organ meats. Chromium aids in glucose metabolism and insulin function. The dietary sources of chromium are whole grains, broccoli, nuts, and meat. Finally, fluoride is important for dental health, promoting strong teeth and preventing tooth decay. The dietary sources of fluoride are fluoridated water, tea, and some seafood. To recap, minerals are one of the major classes of nutrients needed by the body. They are usually found as single elements in the body. They are classified as major minerals and trace minerals based on the amount found in the body. Major minerals are calcium, sodium, potassium, chloride, phosphorus, magnesium, and sulfur. Trace minerals are iron, zinc, copper, selenium, chromium, iodine, manganese, molybdenum, and fluoride. Each mineral plays a vital role for the body's well-being and health. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you never miss our scientific adventures. Until next time, stay curious.